Okay, so we're working through some material on expanding and factoring this basic algebra um, right, that you deal with when you're multiplying out products of, of binomials, things like this. We looked at binomial theorem. Um, all of this falls under this general umbrella of, of polynomials, right? Um, so a polynomial expression is something that basically consists of, well, there are two ingredients, right? Powers of some variable and coefficients, right? Plus addition, you're going to add it, you know, you're going to have more than one term, right? So polynomial with a single term is called a monomial with two terms, binomial, we've encountered those, right? And then trinomial and so on, right? You can have as many terms as you want in a polynomial. And when we are talking polynomials, we need to specify that the powers we're, we're looking at here are integer powers, positive integer powers, right? We're not looking at negative powers. We're not looking at fractional powers, okay? So things that are not polynomial uh, include anything with, say, like a, a 1 over x, 1 over x squared, things like that, okay? Um, these are examples of what are called rational functions. We'll talk about them later. Uh, root functions, so like square root of, of t, right? Cube root of s. These are not polynomial functions. Uh, also, any of, your, any of your more complicated functions, like your trig functions, your exponential functions, your logarithms, certainly not polynomial, okay? So in a polynomial expression, we're just looking at integer, positive integer powers of some variable with coefficients. And that means you're looking at things that look like this. So there might be some x to the n, and there might be some number out front. And, and so the way we tend to write this is we put a subscript, okay? Now, some people will get thrown off by that subscript because, you know, we're used to writing superscripts for powers. They're like, what is that? What is that thing down there? What does that mean? Is that some kind of power? Or is it like a secret power? What is it, going, what is it doing? Um, it's not a power. It's just an index. It's just a way of keeping track of the coefficients, saying this is the coefficient corresponding to the power n, okay? Um, the issue is I don't know how big this power is, right? I could use like a, b, c, d, e for my coefficients, but... Maybe I want to talk about a polynomial of degree 500. I'm going to run out of letters. But we never run out of numbers, so we can index the coefficients. All right? So there'll be an, maybe an minus 1, x to the n minus 1, so on, down to an a2, x squared, a1 times x, and Finally, a sub zero, okay? So this is a polynomial expression. Now, later on we might want to talk about this as say a polynomial function. So we might, we might give it a name. We might call this say, you know, p of x. Think of it as a function. But we're not yet at the point where we necessarily need to think in terms of functions. We just want to think of these as expressions with a variable because uh, we want to talk about how to manipulate them, do things like factoring. Um, and we want to introduce some terminology. So this, uh, this a sub n, this is sometimes called the uh, leading coefficient. Okay. Uh, a sub 0. This is called the constant term, right? It's the only one that doesn't have the variable in it. 
this number here, n, assuming that this leading coefficient is non-zero, this number n is called the degree of your polynomial. Okay, So those are some basic terms that you'll see associated with polynomials. So let's do a few examples. So we could write down something like 5x cubed minus 6x plus 8. This is an example of a degree 3 polynomial, right? Because the highest power of x that I see is 3, right? Uh, there is no x squared term, that's fine. You don't need to have every single power of x showing up in a polynomial. Um, the terms that don't appear are just ones where the coefficient happens to be 0, which can happen, right? Uh, but notice that everything is just a power of x or a constant. There's no negative powers, there's no fractional powers, nothing like that. Right? Um, let's do another one. Minus 4 thirds x to the 7 plus 2 root 2 x to the 6 minus, I don't know, pi squared x to the 4 minus 2x plus 1. Okay, that's a polynomial. Um, it's a polynomial whose degree is 7. Constant term is 1. Um, now, you'll notice that, well, there are some kind of, you know, questionable looking things here, but these are coefficients, right? Root 2 is a real number, right? It's okay to have a square root of a number, right? Pi, it's irrational, that's okay. You can have irrational coefficients. You just don't want to have a square root of x. Square root of 2 is okay, square root of x is not, okay? So these are examples of polynomials, right? Uh, again, Something like, and, and there are, sometimes there are ones that you, you want to treat as polynomials, but they're not quite. Um, so let's say we do something like x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. Now it happens that the top is a so-called difference of squares. Right? I, can, I can factor. And then you might say, hey, look, we've got the same factor, top and bottom, x plus 1. Let's cancel that thing, right? And so you cancel it out, and you say, ah, oh, that gets me to x minus 1. That's a polynomial, right? Well, not exactly, uh, because a polynomial is defined for every possible real number value that you want to substitute for x, okay? If we're thinking of it as a function with a domain, the domain is all real numbers. Um, here there's a restriction. These are only equal if x is not equal to minus 1, okay? Because this over here technically is not defined at minus 1. If I plug in x equals minus 1, I get 0 divided by 0, which doesn't make any sense, okay? So looks like a polynomial, but it's not quite. Right? It's actually a rational function. So um, there's some basics on polynomials. We're going to pause here. We're going to come back. We're going to give you two fundamental results about polynomials. Uh, and then we're going to move on um, to some other topics.